Welcome back to my garage and thanks for all the comments. Every possible solution should be covered by now. As I hinted to in the previous video, I, I'm starting with the stinger because I think it's too small or I know it's too small. I'm not totally sure that's the problem here, but as it is too small for the power I'm after, we'll start with that and then go from there. When designing an engine for petrol, there's a juggling act between uh, compression, ignition advance and stinger size to keep end gases in the squish pan from overheating. In simulations with methanol you can go extreme with either parameter and you still won't reach critical temperature and detonation. So the normal juggling act is pointless. When I realized this, when I was simulating the engine, I uh, moved on to port timing and that stuff and I forgot about stinger size. And it comes back to bite you. My current 15 mm stinger restriction can support about 20 horsepower, 22 maybe, but I'm shooting for much more and I think something in the 17-18 mm range is much more suitable. I was wrong about the stinger, apparently. Didn't make much difference at all. It maybe revved a little bit better. But I knew it was too small, so when it starts making power, it won't come back to bite me. I played around with choking the carb and using my fingers to, like an aperture, and variate the restriction. And that made it rev a little bit better. So I thought, okay, it's, uh, it's lean. I removed the main jet completely, no difference at all. I knew it was on the edge of what the needle jet could flow, so that might be it. I tried choking the carb some more after I removed the main jet and it doesn't really seem like it's lean. I unhooked the drive chain to have no load on the engine at all. And while revving it in uh, basically neutral, there's a, there's a brick wall and it seems like it's rich. It seems like a rich brick wall. It just 
kind of four strokes in place, goes nowhere. EGT is sinking and head temp is sinking and it just seems like it's loading up but not dying, it just stays there. Totally strange. I did double check the rev limiter on the ignition and it's set to 60,000 RPM, so it's not that. And Okay, we'll have to go back to the old carb, the smaller carb, as many of you have suggested. I've ordered a new flange that will fit the cover and fit the 24mm carb and also a 28 or a 30mm. So let's try the 24, which worked before, and see how it behaves. It is totally strange. I don't think the pipe is wild enough to fight the engine so much below the power band that it just can't power through. At least not in neutral, so there has to be something else. The mind boggles. See you next time.